بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ رب زدنی علما صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمد للہ رب العالمین In this lecture, I will discuss the integration of this fraction 1 upon x square plus a square. An important advice for me and for everyone, we must be nice to others. Integration of this fraction 1 upon x square plus a square. The coefficient of x is 1 and we have positive sign here and both the terms are in square form and this fraction is not the application of the basic formula 1 and 2 to integrate this fraction we use this formula we write the reciprocal of this constant here the reciprocal of a is 1 upon a and it should be here and then we write tan inverse and then we write this fraction x upon a fraction of these two as an angle of tan inverse so this is the way to integrate this type of fractions and make sure the coefficient of x must be 1 let's understand this formula through these examples Example number 1. See, to integrate this fraction, we will use this formula. Number 1, we have to check two things. The coefficient of x must be 1 and both terms must be in square form. And obviously, we must have positive sign between the terms. Now, to integrate this fraction, we need to write reciprocal of this here. The reciprocal of 5 is 1 upon 5. Then we need to write tan inverse. And then we need to write this fraction, x upon 5, as an angle of tan inverse. So, this is the way to integrate this type of functions. Example number 2. Now, in this case, we first need to make the coefficient of x square 1 by taking these two common. So, first take two common from these two. So, when you will take two common, you will get this thing. 1 upon 2 is outside the integral to make the integration simple. And this will become x square when you will take two common. And this will become 3 upon 2. Now, the second step is write both terms in a square form you can easily write this in a square form like this but here you need to write this as under root 3 upon 2 square because in order to use this formula both the terms must be in a square form so first make the coefficient of x1 by taking this two common from these two terms and then write both the terms in a square form. 3 upon 2 is under root 3 upon 2 whole square. Now you can easily integrate this. First you need to write the reciprocal of this here. Then write tan inverse. And then make the fraction of these two. x upon under root 3 upon 2. And this should be the angle of tan inverse. This should be here. Now we just need to simplify this. First simplify this, reciprocal this, this will become under root 2 upon 3 and this will also become under root 2 upon 3 times x. That's the final answer. So while integrating or while using this formula, make sure the terms um, I mean make sure the coefficient of x must be 1 and then both terms must be must be in a square form like this another example 
Again, we have to make the coefficient of x square 1 by taking 9 common from these two. When you will take 9 common from these two, you will get one x square here and 16 upon 9 here. And 9 is, is here. Now you have to write this in square form. For that, you need to write this as 4 upon 3 is whole square. And now we can easily integrate this. We need to write reciprocal of this here and then tan inverse and then fraction of these two as an angle of tan inverse and then we just need to simplify this. This will become 3 upon 4 after cancellation with this 9 we have 1 upon 12 tan inverse and this is 3x upon 4 plus c. This is the way to integrate these types of functions. The important part of this is First, make the coefficient of x square 1 and then write both the terms in a square form. Next example. Well, to integrate uh, this function, first we have to make coefficient of x square 1 by taking 3 common from these two. So, when you will take 3 common from these two terms, you will get 1 upon 3 here and this will become 2 upon 3. And then you have to write this in a square form like this. Now write the reciprocal of this here, then tan inverse, and then fraction of these two as an angle of tan inverse. And this one upon 3 is here. Now simplify this. This will become under root 3 upon 2. This will become under root 3 upon 2 times x. And these are the limits. So you can apply the limit side by side. So under root 2 here and then minus under root 2 here. And then you just need to simplify this. Under root tan inverse root 3 is pi by 3 and tan inverse minus root 3 is minus pi by 3 and this minus will make this plus. And that's the final answer. You all know how to apply the limits. The important part is right integration. So make sure you first write this in this form correctly and then use the formula correctly now we have uh, done this that the formula of integration of this fraction is this now we have to show that 1 upon a tan inverse x upon a must be this thing. To prove this, we know we must know the differentiation of tan inverse. You all know how to differentiate tan inverse. It will become 1 plus square of this thing. And then differential of this should be here. It is here. Copy this here the formula of the differentiation of tan inverse of this function is 1 upon 1 plus square of this angle and the differential of this angle should be here when you will simplify this you will get this thing this 1 upon a will come here it will become 1 upon a square you have to simplify the denominator by taking the LCM and when you will simplify this whole fraction you will get this thing and by cancelling these two you have shown that the differential of this is this so it's obvious that the integral of this must be this you can check this as a whole Well, this is all. I hope this lecture will help you to understand how to integrate these types of fractions with the help of this formula. Good luck to everyone. Allah Hafiz.